one day later. Let's try this out again. I thought I was good to record last time, and then it kind of got worse, and then I feel good this time. But let's find out. <laughs> All right. I do enjoy being able to save anywhere. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once, humans in Picori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. I get that this font was probably very legible when it was on a Game Boy, but when it's on a screen, it's so big it becomes less legible because of how much you have to look around to finish reading the words. <laughs> that's, that's the only way to, I don't know how to put it. Like, Also, this perspective is weird, right? Because this is a dead-on angle, but I'm standing up at this angle and it just feels a little weird. But, like, these two things do not match in perspective at all. No, Link, no push door, use door. What are you, a zombie? They made it slightly faster, which means I'm gonna do it the whole game now. <laughs> Pickery dickery duck. Oh, no. So I should be able to cut all the shrubs now that were in my way before. These guards are mostly blocking everything around here. The detail that he rolls slower on stairs because it's a terrible idea. That guy exploded. You can't go to the Royal Valley as a rock there. If you, could, you might think you could go that way, but this is a rock. So you can't go that way. Ow, fuck. <sighs> My back. Alright. I need a I need a bomb. Can I have a bomb? Probably need to get a bomb bag so we can go bomb bowling. Oh god. This might be why I never beat Oracle of Seasons. <laughs> the grass chopping, especially in 2D games. I feel like this is just like a quiet pleasure that games like Stardew Valley appreciate and understand. Because people just want to cut grass! Give them a big field, make them do it one square at a time. Maybe even add a tiny skill check where they can do two squares if they stand in just the right position and now it's like, oh man. Uh... Shiny Psyduck, what are you doing here? Oh god! <laughs> Not how I thought the next part of that was gonna go. You got a heart! Right, it's tutorial. I was briefly terrified they were gonna explain that to me every time. But no. This isn't Skyward Sword. This is a good game. <laughs> the sky a lot of Skyward Sword was good. I liked how the world design was more puzzly. Uh, more akin to the dungeons themselves. It's just a rock. Yes, I mean a hole. I just really hated the motion controls, and they did not get better. But that's a rant for a playthrough I already did. Is this... This is bad, right? Oh, it's above me. Okay. Oh, uh, so there's like a wind mechanic later that I can use to climb. I see little tornadoes like that and I think about, uh... Golden Sun. A 
Okay, I'm used to being able to open doors. But yeah, it's a Game Boy game. It's just A, B, left, left bumper, right bumper, D-pad. That's all the buttons. So I guess it's just a door you can't open. Oh, that cliff's facing the other way. Have I successfully opened a door yet? Am I missing something about doors? Okay, there we go. I'm not crazy. They're consistent with the music. Do you think they get tired of reorchestrating the same melodies over and over again throughout a franchise? <laughs> Just forever? It's kind of interesting how much the, uh... The style has changed by the time you get to like Captain Toad and the, re the Mario themes are like orchestral and so on. I have like a frustrating inability to interact with the stuff around me that makes me slightly nervous that I'm doing something wrong in the interactions. Ah! So am I filling in a map as I go? Oh, it looks weird! Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that the squares are different sizes. It feels really strange. I'm not sure how to emotionally deal with that. I'll never recover. Diminished Woods. Sup? Look at those god rays. Right. Still can't swim. We are still playing as water soluble Link. This area really is whoops all Octorok so far, isn't it? slime. Briefly was more worried because I thought it was like an, a like-like. Those look very different. Okay, that's enough. That's enough weed eating. I have to be a tiny boy! Same for that, I think. I have to be tiny and be able to swim, I guess, probably. Help! Help me! Ouch! Won't somebody stop them? Ow! Ow! Help! Somebody! Can't anybody hear me? You can't... Can you not walk a little bit? It's just sitting here! What? Where was that? <laughs> Where was that cutscene? I meant like a dead end. Oh, that's where I came from. Hey, kid! You there! Ow! Hey, don't just stand there, do something! Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! No. If he dies, he dies. Alright, well, they immediately realized that it was time to fight, apparently. Phew! Well done! That was close! Not that I couldn't handle them myself. <laughs> well, that's besides the point! What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? 
I, I, what are you doing here? I'm the one that can take care of myself. Oh, I see. The Picori, you say? And Vati? Vati's cursed someone. What? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I, too, am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the Sacred Blade could break his curse, eh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> He's going so fast! What? Is there something on my face? Quit staring, it's rude! Okay. Wait! Wait, I say! You walk so quickly, too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed that I have no legs. Boy! Take a good look at me. Do you think I can walk that fast? You're not gonna come at me any slower. You just like to complain. You're one of those people. Ah, if it isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. Ah there. Now you can't possibly leave me behind. My, my, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? S see? There. Yes. Yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insight, press select and I'll be happy to help. Oh, such a hopeless child. And he's gone. <laughs> Body horror. What? I haven't even had time to settle in and you're bo bothering me? Deepwood Shrine lies, obviously enough, deep in the heart of these woods. So says my superior intuitive sense. I'm gonna move on. Alright, well, he's here now. I have a hat that's alive. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Yeah, who are the Minish? Ah, yes. Silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Picori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish, which seems like a mean thing to call yourself. <laughs> Strange how, in the world of humans, only the forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No! That stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Doom. <laughs> this is, oh, this is not pleasant. Oh! Well. I'm that small inside the scope of that building? Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. But there is one thing you must know. Being minish size is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the mimish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. I am a little tiny. Oh my god, he still has a sword. Can't so if he has a shield, I can't see it. <laughs> Rolling actually feels slower now. My god. 
<laughs> they kind of have you magnetized to it a little bit. Hello. <coughs> it's a little bit like what they put in Okami. But when it was in Okami, uh, that was a bizarre mechanic. It happened. They only used it like twice in the entire game. It was bizarrely underutilized. This lets them have fun with the visuals and, and change scale over and over again. By have fun, I mean work really hard and make a ton of them. Oh god, so many visuals. Hmm. It appears we have found the Minish Village. Hey. Pico Pico Reed. Oh no, they're Pokemon. Ter. Reapy, repeat. Reapy, repeat. Re Co Picori. Picoco, Pico, Repoki. They have like they have three syllables total. I gather it's been quite some time since I last saw a human. What's that? You understand what they were saying just now? Ah yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I'm most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. We should look around. Hello. No. Not that one. Oh. I hope that one wasn't related to anybody. I don't think they want me to be here. Maybe I should leave. Pendulous dangling strawberries. This looks like an important building. You look like a nerd. Hum, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Festari. I watch the Abbey, as well as the Shrine to the North. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You could use a jabber nut. It would allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. Ah, thankfully, there's a convenient thing that solves the entire problem as if by magic. So easily, you might have been able to just hand wave away the idea of bothering with language to begin with. Nope. The Grand Wizard Man. Is not prepared to converse. Barrel. Are you a jabber nut? Are you a Jabbernut? <laughs> oh, I think that's the Jabbernut. Oh, Mika! <coughs> Micah, that's what it is. This must be the Jabbernut Festari told you about. Well, you'd better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the Jabbernut. Now you understand the language of the Minish. Well... That, that, that problem lasted 30 seconds. You've eaten the jabber nut, and now you can understand us. The elder said that humans can no longer see us as they once could. It's amazing you can still see us. You've heard of travelers who find a kin stone and get really lucky? Well, that's all thanks to items made up by us, Minish. You see, we thrive on making humans happy. It gives us energy. But we only do it in secret. What you guys doing? You talking about me? You probably haven't noticed, but lots of Minish live right in Hyrule Town. 
We Minish live in Hyrule Town, and other places too, not just these woods. Hi, your town's confusingly laid out. So you've eaten the Jabbernut, and now you can understand us. Sorry, but I know little about swords. I'm sure the Elder can help you. That's probably who I saw on the left. Honestly, it's commendable that somebody so old is still so far left. Oh, you speak our language. It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Eslo. This child is Micah. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we'll need to reforge the broken Picori blade. Ah, yes. They've come here now, hoping to have the blade reforged. Hmm. Well, if that's what you're after, you'll need four mystic elements. These elements are the crystalline forms of the energies of this world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your, ma your map. I can mark where these elements can be found. The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Festari's Abbey. Speak with Festari. He will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me once you have found the earth element. If you find any other ones, I'll never speak to you again. My instructions were clear. If you want to reforge that sword, you're going to need the help of an expert smith. Master Milari and his seven apprentices can help you. They live in the mountains, where they find all the ore they need. I'm sure the Elder would tell you about them if you asked. Alright, quick break. Okay, back to it. I f Once again, I felt ready. I'm like, here I go. And then I'm like, oh god. Over the course of one episode, rapidly diminishing in ability to speak clearly. Our ancestors, the ancient Minish, used the portal between our worlds. It brought them to the human world, and they settled in this forest. If you have any hopes of reforging the sacred blade, do as the Elder says. Go fight the Earth Element! Okay, okay, I'm going, jeez. Why do you have such a long hallway? You cannot roll inside of logs. It's impossible. Will this kill me? <coughs> so I can't go that way until I gain the ability to swim, probably. I am Lorge again. Oh, it just makes that sound every time you're near it. That's a wee tad bit much. Be gone. Uh, I can't go that way. Hmm. That could be an entrance, but only if I learn how to swim, probably. This seems like a logical connection. What's the earth element? Is it the green one? Shit. <laughs> I can't highlight them. Ruby 
Really, I just figure it mostly amounts to where can I go? Gah. Gah -hoo -hoo. Gah -hoo -hoo -hoo. So at some point I get the ability to... It might not even be an ability, but it looks like you gotta, you gotta push those rocks into those holes and then they'll fill the holes. And then you can go that way. But only after you've been on the other side already. Well, these guys are familiar. The name's Muto. I'm head carpenter around these parts. The king of Hyrule himself has entrusted me with this project. See, that sorcerer's attack tore things up pretty bad around here. You know, kid, you shouldn't be playing anywhere near the con construction zone. What is up with the tiny little spider nightmares? Can I use this? No. So what I think I need to do is I need to find that one spot again. Was it here at Longline Ranch? Ow. You die now. I will bully. I'm not afraid. Okay. It was here. There's a log behind here. This enables new possibilities. But I still can't go under these. Oh no! I was still close enough. I tried to roll under the fence. Oh, you can skip it, thank god. I can't get through grass? Breaking and entering! Ah ha ha, I'm inside your house and you don't know. Oh. Having a secret hiding spot for your key that's inside of the house is a strange move. Ah! Ah! Ah ha ha! No, get off! Don't like it. Okay. Why can't I use the door that's inside the house? Pot. Gonna get Super Mario 2'd. How do I use keys? Do I do it manually from the inventory? Like, what's what's the deal here? I won't, why can't I open doors in this game? I'm so confused. <coughs> like, what's what is what is the, what do they want from me? What's going on? What do I do here? Why? Oh.
I find it peculiar that there's no, like, interaction or inspect action. When I look at- when I look at things, nothing happens. Like, there's no- there's no confirmation that I'm in- Ah, oh, the, they come back anyway, okay. I can't climb over these steps, really? Wow. Okay, so why do they let me get big here? You would think that the key would unlock this door, and that one would just always be open because it's from the inside of the house. I'm not sure what the purpose is of getting big in this room. Oh, I know, because I broke the pots to get the key. Where do I use the key? Lon Lon Ranch key. Okay. I'm at the Lon Lon Ranch. Why are all the cows wearing wigs? Chew on that. <laughs> 